Hello, in this video, I want to show you how to upgrade this 19 inch widescreen from 4CC FL to our UB60 series. This is 19 inch, this screen is made by Chimin, the part number is M1908 1L07. Again, the part number is M1908 1L07. This is 19 inch widescreen, the resolution is 1440 by 900. So that's why we had to use a uh, UB60 series. Okay, the key comes with two LED strips, one driver, wire harness, couple of the aluminum foil. Let's set aside the key for a while and um, take a look at this screen. This screen pretty much, there's no screw holding, so the only thing we need to do is that we're going to remove this cover first. Uh, yeah, okay. So we're gonna start one end at a time, uh, as usual. Um, just use this one to open up one end at a time. So, okay. Just one side at a time. No rush. And uh, as you see, I remember the cloth. That means we had to uh, send me down to everything. Okay. The side, okay, oops. Okay, just one side at a time. This has a little sticky because of the tips. All right, take it out like this. Set aside the metal frame. Usually, I would do when I do transportation of the liquid glass, would be get a piece of cardboard. Oh. So I forgot to remove this two the screws that holding the the interface board. Okay, that's one, four screws, two, uh, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna flip over. Just pull the wire out. We're gonna set aside the liquid glass for a second. Find a space here. Okay. Here is a backlight assembly. Okay, there's no screw holding. So we can take a look, loosen up this wire first. Uh, see the click here? So we might have to do it like, oh, okay. Just like that. Oh, I'm not sure you're seeing that, but uh, they have a tape inside to tape it. So don't worry about it. One end. This end. Make sure the wires come out the side. Yep. Okay. So. All right. So we gonna do like this a little bit. Yep. This side out. Oh, this side. Okay, this side. Let's see. I want you to see. Okay, it's out. Okay, now just this side. Like this. All right, we took it out already. Let's take a look here. First thing, we're gonna get a whole stack of uh, diffusion sheet. Don't worry about it. There's a marking, so I get a tip like this. Set it on the top of uh, the liquid glass. So let's take a look at this. All right, so we're gonna tear it up. I see all this tip here. You need to open up. There's both aluminum foil. You can just cut it, or you just peel it off the other way. Cut it off. It's much easier for me. Just cut it. Okay, let's pull up like this. One out, pull up. Okay, here you go. Now we're gonna set it aside for this a second. Uh, let's take a look at this refractors.
Yeah, it looks like the UB64 gonna fit in this, but uh, we might have to add a little bit silicone because if you can see both ends, it's, it's not totally 100% flat. So we're gonna add the little bit silicone. Uh, uh, as usual, before we uh, install the LED back to the reflector, we have to test it, make sure LED is good. So again, you know, when you purchase LED, keep we always test it before we send it out. Um, just do the quick test here. You apply the power. Uh, it's perfect. Okay. So, you know. Remove this one. It's a bit simple. You see this? I want you to remove this. Yep. Just remove it. All this. Things. Okay, that gets away. I'm gonna open up this tips a little bit. Okay. Okay. So really simple. We just peel it off because there's a double side tip to tip those wires. Oh, the side I forgot. So you can peel it off, which is kind of either way, but I peel it off is better. Okay. That's the other one. Let's take it out like this. So one is out. It's gonna repeat the same procedure for this one. Next video, I'm gonna show you how to put uh, put it back uh, in that reflector. But we do have to remember we do because this is not 100% flat, so we do have to add a little bit of silicone.